Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. I prophesied TB Joshua's death three times. We spoke about it, says Professor Njila. Professor Joshua Njila, the General Overseer of Champion Royal Assembly, has disclosed what the late tele evangelist Prophet, Prophet Temit Sokwe Balogun Joshua told him about his death after his prophecy. Injila records that T.B. Joshua, who is the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Scorn said he was not afraid of death and was ready to die at any time. In a statement, Injila recorded that thrice he had a vision in 2015, 2016 and 2018 that a great man of God is quitting the scene. It was T.B. Joshua. Injina added that when he communicated the visions to him, T.B. Joshua said, Thank you, my brother. If it is his wish to keep me, he will keep me. There is nothing I am afraid of anymore. According to Ijila, that is what uh, T.B. Joshua said. He said, There is nothing I am afraid anymore. I think I have done the work the Lord sent me. I will always take a bow to the sovereignty of God. He referred to the deceased as a man of humility, ambassador of love to the less privileged, and a blessing to the body of Christ. The televangelist died on Saturday evening in Lagos shortly after a church service at the scorn. T.B. Joshua was said to have died while on his way to the hospital and his corpse has been deposited at the Solo General Hospitals. Wow, may the souls of this man rest in perfect peace of the most high god it is just so sad it is just so shocking to her to many questions especially to the people that he has impacted that he has touched with his ministration you know according to this man you know he said that he prophesied tb joshua's death three times and the good thing is that he told tb joshua about the prophecy that is one thing that I appreciate this man, you know, and thank God for T.B. Joshua. Look at what he responded, says that he's not afraid of death. So which means that uh, T.B. Joshua knows that he's going to die very soon. You know, he knows, he knows, he knows. We cannot say that he doesn't know, no. And obviously, this prophecy, not only this man must have seen this prophecy. Obviously, we know that definitely there are some pastors that will see this prophecy also. You know, may, may the Lord bless this man and may the soul of this pastor, T.B. Joshua, rest in perfect peace of the Most High God. It is so sad. It is so sad to hear that Pastor T.B. Joshua died. It is so sad. You know, we don't want, we don't want such person, you know, such pastors, especially pastors that, that is loving, especially pastors that are, that are caregivers, you know, that helps... To, that loves to help people. We don't want such persons to die. But it is, it is, God knows the best. We cannot answer why his death just came early like that. You know, you know, people, let's hear people's opinion about it. You know, they said that uh, your achievement, not this prophecy, but massive convers con conversions to Christ, has ideal prophecy. Leave TB Joshua alone. He is going to rest with his creator peacefully. Of course, we know that T.B. Joshua has gone to rest deep with his creation peacefully. You know, why somebody said, I will miss you deeply, man of God. If something is happening in the world, I was always depending and waiting for your comments, whom I depend on. All I knew was all you were saying was true. Rest day, rest day, the truth, the true man of God. God bless this man. Man of God was still we still you needed the word is we still need you the world is full of problems and you have left us in problems you stood for everyone in the world why hope you have left another man of god is going to stand for all the world like you lord help you and stand by you may the soul of this man rest in perfect peace of the most high god why some po you know, can you imagine this though? I even heard that the day that Pastor T B Joshua died, there was one uh, African pastor, top pastors that actually died on that same day too. You know, I think the man is from Ghana. You know, died on that same day. May God help us. This whole world we don't know. We don't know. It is only God that owns our lives. It is only God that knows who, 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 that knows the date of anybody. 
It is only God. You know, people say, West African prophets, you are only good in the death of others, but your powers do not see how our country should be well governed for the benefit of the citizens you forbid to see into kidnapping. These men have been lamenting about the failed system of governance without times and was the same you who call them fake pastors and prophets for interfering to the issues, bad leadership, which way? They talked, it become problem. If they don't talk, it will become problem. May God help us. You cannot satisfy, satisfy human being. You know that, and that's just the fact about it. You cannot satisfy. Or what? Or what I can say is that, do what you can do and leave the rest for God. There are still still be some people that they will castigate you, even if you say the truth today. There are still be some people, some people that will say you have not done well. So there is no way you can satisfy human being. It is not possible. It is not possible at all, at all. But above all, I am so thankful to God that uh, Pastor Ingina was able to reveal the prophecy to T.B. Joshua. And T.B. Joshua knew. In fact, he said he, rev- he, had, the, he had the vision three times, 20, 2015, 2016, and 2018. Can you imagine? He had a vision that T.B. Joshua would die soon. You know, and God bless this man. T.B. Joshua is not afraid of death because he was saying that there is nothing I am afraid of anymore. I think I have done the work the Lord sent me and I will always take a bow to the sovereignty of God. May God help us. And this is just a lesson to all of us out there. Do we have anything to afraid anymore? Are we ready for the work that the Lord has sent us? You know, it is a, it is a lesson. We are supposed to use T.B. Joshua as a lesson for all of us in this in this life. Life is meaningful. Life is meaningful. And life is also meaningless. Life is meaningless. We we, we, we brought we didn't brought we didn't bring anything in and we're not taking anything back. That is just life for you. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your home take? Kindly drop your comment at the comment section below for those who subscribe. We want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We want to say God bless you. And if you're here to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you for always being there for us at all time. Stay safe at this crucial time. Have a lovely day once again. Bye.